Hello everyone and welcome to a Create with Kylie art tutorial video. In this video we're going to do something new. I always tell my students never to throw any of their art out as they move through high school. I ask them to keep it, put it in a bag, hide it under their bed, put it in the back of their closets, you know, anywhere where they'll keep it safe and dry. In grade 12 I have a project where they look back on their four years in high school and how their arts developed. They've got to make a digital portfolio and put it all together. But even then, I hope that they keep their artwork, all their hard work that they put into their artistic developing skills and all that sort of stuff. And I try to live the expectations that I put on my students. So when I ask them not to throw out their artwork, it's because I haven't thrown my artwork out either. And today, here's an example of a piece of artwork that I found from back in my days in high school. And this is a junior high assignment. It was either in grade nine or 10, where we were asked to look through art history books and find a painting that we liked and reproduce it, but change one small thing in the painting. So this is George Caleb Bingham's painting of the fur traders descending the Missouri. And in the original piece of art, they have a little black fox in the bow of the canoe. And this is a French father to this young Métis boy. And it's a lovely, peaceful um, painting. I really like the atmosphere, the soft, calm waters, just the mood that was set in this genre painting. It was painted in 1845, an oil on canvas, and it's 29 by 36 and a half inches. Right now you can go and see it at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Its title has changed from French trader and half-breed son. Now this isn't such a socially acceptable title by any means nowadays, but it does give you a little bit more information about what this painting is all about. It captures traders married into native communities in order to better consolidate trade between the two groups. In high school, I decided to change the little black fox into my Irish Terrier dog. We just got the dog during the, this time that I painted it. Totally love the puppy. So in goes the dog instead of the black fox. So that was my one small change. And to be honest, I'm not sure what I'm going to change in this one. I wanna repaint this now that I'm where I am artistically in life and I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might put in one of my pets here or I might change the hat on the gentleman. The gentleman's hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's, you want the cat? The cat should come in. What do you think? You gonna come in and make a cameo? You're no fun. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to put a political themed hat on him instead of the, the libertarian hat or whether simply just to change the animal up to keep with the theme of what I decided to do in high school. But either way, I think I'm going to get started and I'll leave those tough decisions for a little bit later or for you to find out what I do in the end. If you want to express thanks, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now let's be creative. I remember my high school art teacher plunking down art history textbooks in front of us and instructing us to flip through the pages and find a painting that we liked best. If you don't have an art history textbook available to you, I recommend downloading the Google Arts and Culture app, which allows you to explore over 100,000 artworks in high definition from over 2,000 museums from around the world. Copying masterpieces is a way to connect with and learn from the previous generations of artists. Some of you may be muttering to yourselves that you are just a beginner artist and that you're not as skilled as the master you've chosen. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Notice that my junior painting wasn't precise and you'll see that the, even the painting I complete in this video isn't a perfect rendition of Bingham's masterpiece. The goal of this assignment is to explore art history, find something you like, have fun changing something, and most importantly, learn from the master. Let's face it, if you were a master artist already, you wouldn't be here right now. 
So set your hubris aside for the moment to study and observe what someone has successfully accomplished so that you might pick up some skills to use in your upcoming future masterpiece. And there you have it, a watercolor reproduction of my high school reproduction of George Caleb Bingham's Fur Traders Descending the Missouri. In this rendition, I swapped my cat Calvin into the bow of the canoe. My watercolor skills have definitely improved over the years thanks to a lot of practice, but I'll never be able to make them look quite like oil paints. But that doesn't mean I'm not happy with this outcome. The faces were easier to paint this time around, and I still found peace in trying to capture the quiet waters, vast skies, and my smug little cat. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and remember my friends, stay awesome and be creative. Thanks for watching.